Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on problems on simulation. Totally nine problems I have completed. In this video, the last tenth problem I'm going to explain. So before starting the twelfth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points of tenth problem, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the problem number 10. An investment corporation wants to study the investment projects based on three factors, market demand in units, contribution that is sales price minus variable cost per unit and the investment required. So three factors are there. These factors are felt to be independent of each other. In analyzing a new consum consumer product for a washing powder factory, the corporation estimates the following probability distribution. So we are given three factors, annual demand, contribution per unit and investment required. So here annual demand are 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 35, 40, 45, 50,000. So for every demand probability is given. Then secondly, contribution per unit. Contribution means selling price minus variable cost. So contribution may be 3 rupees or 5 rupees or 7 rupees or 9 rupees or 10 rupees. For every contribution probability given. Last one investment required. How much investment we require? Three investments are given. 17 lakh 50 thousand or 20 lakh or 25 lakh. For every investment probability is given. So we need the probability random number interval for all the three factors. Use Monte Carlo simulation, uh, simulation for 10 runs to estimate the percentage of return on investment. That is ROI. Return on investment percentage we have to calculate. And the problem itself, the formula is given cash inflow divided by investment into 100. Cash inflow means total contribution. That is demand into contribution per unit. The demand into contribution per unit will give you total contribution. That is the cash inflow numerator. And divided by investment, investment is given in the problem. Then for each run, recommended an optimum investment strategy based on model value of ROI. So the random numbers are given 28, 19, 18, 57 like that. Use the first three random numbers for first run. Next three numbers for second run like that. So 3-3 three, three will make a combination of three random numbers. One first random number for demand, second random number for contribution, third random number for investment required. Next three will take again in the same order. That's it. So first of all, we need the random number interval for demand. So here for demand. The demand are 20, 25,000, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Probabilities are given. Now we need the cumulative probability 0 0.05, plus 0 0.1, 0 0.15, plus 0 0.2, 0 0.35. Then we'll take the random number interval. First one is 0 0.05. So below 5, 4. So 0, 0 to 0, 4. Then 0, 5 to 14. 15 to 34. 35 to 64. 65 to 84. 85 to 94. 95 to 90. We made the random number interval for demand. Now random number interval for contribution per unit. The contribution per unit is given 3 rupees, 5 rupees, 7 rupees, 9 rupees, 10 rupees. Probabilities are given. Take the cumulative probability and random number. First number is 0 0.10, means 10, below 10, 9, so 0, 0 to 0, 09. Next one, 10 to 29, 30 to 69, 70 to 89, 90 to 99. So we made the random number coding for contribution. Lastly, random number for random number interval for investment required. Three investments are given. First investment, 17 lakh, 50 thousand, then 20 lakh, then 25 lakh. Then right, probabilities are given, cumulative probabilities random. First one 25. So below 25, 24. So 0, 0 to 24. Next we begin with 25. 25 to 74. 75 to 90. That's it. So we made the random number coding as usual. 
Now, we prepare the simulated worksheet for 10 trials. The simulated return on investment, ROI, is also calculated by using the formula. Total contribution divided by investment into 100. Right? So first, we need the simulated worksheet for 10 trials. So here first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 trials. Random number for demand, then simulated demand. Random number for contribution, simulated contribution per unit. I will write down here, simulated contribution per unit. Then total simulated contribution, means multiply. Demand is multiplied with contribution per unit to get total simulated contribution. Random number for investment, then simulated investment, then last one ROI. So first of all, we need the random numbers. It is given in the problem that first three random numbers will be taken for first trial. The first three random numbers are 28, 19, 18. 28, 19, 18. That's all. First three numbers I have taken for first run. Second three numbers are 5707. 5707. And next one is 67. The next three numbers are taken for second trial. Next three numbers will take for the third trial. Like that we have taken the random numbers from the problem. Right? Now look at 28 will fall in which range? Here it will fall in 15 to 34. 30,000 is the demand. So I have taken 30,000. Second random number 57. Look at 57 will fall in 35 to 64. Again 35,000. I have taken 35. Next random number 60. Look at 60 will fall under again between this 35,000. Again I have taken 35,000. 17. 17 random number will fall under 15 to 34. 30,000. 30,000. Like this I have taken all simulated demand by locating this random number in this class interval. <coughs> Over. Now random number for contribution. Now we look at, look at second one, contribution. So what is the random number 19? 19 will fall between 10 to 29. So here 5 rupees is the contribution. Second one 07. 07 will lie between 00 to 09. 3 rupees is the contribution. Then 90. 90 will fall in the last that is 10 rupees. I have taken 10 rupees. Similarly I have taken all the contribution per unit. Now total contribution, total contribution means multiply simulated demand with the contribution per unit. 30,000 into 5, you will get 1,50,000. 35,000 into 3, you will get 1,5,000. 35,000 into 10, 3,50,000. Like this total contribution we got. Now random number for investment. So here the random number is 18. See 18 will fall in the first case. So 17,50,000. I have taken 17,50,000. Second random number 67. 67 will fall between 25 to 74. 20,000. So I have taken 20,000. Next one 16. 16 will fall in the first range. So 17,50,000. 17,50,000. Last column is ROI. Return on investment. For return on investment, the formula is total contribution divided by investment into 100. So total contribution is total simulated contribution 1,50,000. How much is the investment? 17,50,000. So 1,50,000 divided by 17,50,000 into 100. You will get 8.57 percentage. We are multiplying by 100 because ROI is calculated in percentage. Similarly second, what is the total contribution? 1,50,000. 1,5,000 divided by 20 lakhs into 100, you will get 5.25. Next one is 3,50,000 divided by 17,50,000 into 100, you will get 20%. So we got all the ROIs. So finally see in which case the ROI is the highest. The ROI is highest is 20. 20% 20 is the highest ROI. In which case it is happening? It is happening when the demand is 35,000 units. And the unit contribution is 10 rupees, right? And the investment required is 17,50,000. So ultimately, you can conclude 
The above table shows that the highest likely return is 20%, which is corresponding to the annual demand of 35,000. You can see here, 20% is the highest ROI. This is happening when the demand is 35,000. Contribution per unit is 10 rupees. And the investment required is 17,50,000. That's it. That is the conclusion. That's all. Ha, so totally 10 problems on simulation I have explained in each and every uh, problem in detail. Hope you understood how to solve the problem on simulation. Maybe in the first attempt you may not be able to understand. So watch the video twice, thrice, then only you can be able to get the complete clear concept. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your groups, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. And uh, lastly, by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we'll take up the next topic of this OR subject in the next video.